This technique is called ready form. It is a very vintage and simple technique to do. I am using May 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 stamp set, Snow Peaking and Snow Doubt. I love snowmen, so it is really easy for me to pick this stamp set up. Um, I've decided for the sentiment for this one will be no doubt about it. Thing is impossible with God. Now, from my experience, what I've learned is if you want to stamp a sentiment actually on the card, you need to leave a space for it and plan for it first. So pick out your sentiment first. I don't know about you guys, but that's always the last thing I always pick out. But for this one, I have to work backwards. I decided I'm going to have my card going long ways and I want my sentiment down here in the corner so I need to kind of figure out where you know I need to leave blank for so I kind of want to put a little tick mark down here like about where I know I need to leave space for I need to leave at least that much space for my sentiment I'm starting with my Pacific point which is my lighter ink and a sponge dauber and I'm, you just start making angles on your paper there's no wrong way or right way to do this use another piece of cardstock and sometimes I mean if you want to make sure that your stamp set goes completely on there you could go and you could kinda okay I want to adjust it or I can make it smaller but for the most point, you just go with it. Now dab your sponge dauber and then always go in a circular motion to even the ink up on your scrap paper. When you do this every time you re-ink up. Now holding this tight with your left hand, go in circular motions across your paper. Lift your paper. See how it makes a nice design? Lift your paper and then lay it down on the other side, sponge up your dauber again, ink it off, go across it again, and only go to that edge. I think I'm going to go here like this. I'm going to sponge again, only go to the edge there. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, it gets better. Get some more ink, sponge it off, do it again, even out the ink, starting from here. Where the other ink's at, and go over if you want to. Some people go back and forth, drag it back and forth. I don't have good results with it. As you can see, I got my little line here of placement where I want to have my sentiment, but I can kind of go up here. There we go. Doesn't look like much, but trust me, go around the edges of it. And now, if you want, without re inking, just add a little bit of a little bit of blue in here in the middle just so it's not stark white there you go now we're done with this color now is the fun part take your post-it notes and decide what area you're going to go first and take your post-it notes and you just stick them right down on top there right on that line take another one and post it right down there. Get it clear down to the line. Now, if your post-it notes don't stick to your paper, that means your ink's too wet. So you'll just have to wait for it to dry. Now I'm using Dapper Dunham. I think I'll use my little snowman. It's just peeking his head over. I'm going to just wipe wipe that off and I'm going to bring in my stamping pad too. You just see I cover my stamping pad with paper because I don't want ink all over it. And I want him peeking out over. Press hard, especially where you're pressing onto the post-it note because believe it or not that little area will keep from stamping really good. And you want it stamped to the edge. And you take this off. 
and there he is. And if he's not quite to the edge, I have a little trick that I use. Um, add to the edge. My nose didn't go all the way down. I'll go and fix him to put it back across it. There, stamp snow peeking. I'm gonna do a snowman across here. And you can kind of turn him too. That's what I'm gonna do. And stamp pretty hard where his little mitten's at because it's on the posing. I'm gonna put my sentiment on before I get busy and forget about it. Sorry about this, folks. I just realized that you can't see what I've been doing. I'm gonna stamp these letters just a little bit better. There they go. I'll put this in the center here. Really good because I'm not using a misty and it won't be almost impossible to redo this again. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to do this area right here. Um, let's see. I've used a couple of these. Let's just put another. I think I might put another snowman on that. I think I'll use this other snowman with a little hat. I think he's cute. We stamp him down, press him really firm where the post-it note and the card room. Take him off and see what he looks like. There we go. But see, we have some open spots here, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll come back to that. I want to get all my snowmen placed first. Mm -hmm. okay. The post-it notes back down again. And the edges there. Cross here. And I need another one. Or across here. And the other snowman I haven't used is this peaking one. Don't run him upside down. I'll we'll place him like that. Ink him up good. Kind of like this little fella waving. All right. I'll press him. Pull these up. Somehow I didn't get. Oh yeah, I did get his hat there. Well, we're going to add a little bit marker there. Just didn't look like I got his hat there, but I guess I did. There we go. It's coming around. Now for our last one. Post it notes down again. Start here. Stamp. Stamp again. Stamp again. I'm going to fill this whole area in with these tiny snowflakes. Okay, let's take it off and see what that reveals. Wow, that looks cool. Okay, like I said, these areas that are blank in here, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to fill them in now. We have all different sized snowflakes, and that's what I'm going to put in here. The diff other different snowflakes that we have. I think I'll put in this little tiny one. Get a different stamp. This stamp it off. Um, it look like he's got a few falling off down here too. We'll have one coming off the page here. Like I kind of missed. There we go. Pull it off. See how that changes everything? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. And let's do another section the same way. 
Mm. And you can fill them with all kinds of things. It doesn't necessarily have to be just snowflakes. Any kind of a smaller stamp design will work. But it's a snowflake. Mm. Let's do this one here. This is my best way. I love to, to mask. Is I don't have to cut anything out. It is so easy to do it this way. Because I know I tried doing some other stamps where I was coloring with my Spectrenor markers and then I needed to mask off. And it's like, oh, I just don't like all the cutting out. And I, so let's see, let's try, let's try this little guy. We'll put him up here too. Um, make sure it's pressed down good. And you notice I'm stamping around my image because I still want my image to be the focal point of the section. And these snowflakes are only for to fill in, not to take the place. Um, let's see. Okay, let's try another snowman or snowflake stamp. Um, we didn't use this one. This one's pretty. This one's one of my favorite ones. There we go. Let's pull this one off. See what it looks like. Looks good. Um. I'm do this one. I saved this one for last because um, it's got such a big open area and I'm thinking I might want to put something else in here. Like maybe another sentiment or something. I'm not sure. Because I have snow peaking. No doubt about it, nothing is impossible with God. I think I'll put God is in control. I think I'll give this to my friend who's battling breast cancer. I've been making her a bunch of cards because, you know, you don't know how long your friends are going to be around. And she really is a card maker herself, and she is feeling down in the dumps because she can't stamp or anything right now. And she told me she really appreciates all my cards that I've been sending her. Now, um, let's try this other little tiny snowflake stamp we haven't used yet. Okay, I'll take this off. And there's a card almost completely finished. Um, I know I said we were done with that one sponge dauber, but. I feel it's a little too bright right in here with the white, and so I'm going to try this again. If there's any ink, yeah, there's ink left on it. I just kind of want to soften it a little there. I think that does it. There you go. All you need to do is pop it up on some dapper denim. I also have another one that I did using just a little variation of the where I used the ugly sweater. Mamie's Ugly Sweater stamp set. This is, uh, it's called the Ugly Sweater Weather. And I stamped the sweater on the cardstock using my Dapper Dunham, the darker color. And then I masked off and did the same thing, made little areas on the sweater and then stamped it. And then I cut it out and this is what I did. And then I clear embossed, you're invited, get your tacky on. And I actually clear emboss this three times on here to get the, the embossing to really be thick and be really vibrant. I don't know if you can tell the difference. But anyway, I hope you all like this technique. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And, and if you make any of these projects using this technique, uh, please share them with us here on Mammy Made It. Dot com. We all like to see it. Thank you. Bye for now.